Each call is different, and you have to handle each call different. You have to stay alert out here. If you don't, uh, you can get hurt real easy. Uh, somebody that's going to be talking to you be calm, and then all of a sudden just unload on you, and you're in a fight before you know it. And then other people you think are going to have trouble with, you can talk to them for a minute, and they calm right down. So it, it's a wide range we deal with out here. Right now we're en route to... Uh a fire. The caller advised the apartment was on fire. We're going to get over and make sure everybody's out safe and uh, see if we need to notify the fire department if they need to come out or not or if it's just a kitchen fire or not. Oh, oh yeah, it's on fire. Drill one's 26. Looks like they got a uh, furniture burning out in the middle of the road. I don't know about the apartment yet. Dolphin Rail Resident any 15 units. What are you doing, man? I did it. You did it. Okay, why did you set it on fire? Okay, I heard you say, I said I'm about to make me mad. Who made you mad? Them they go up the street. They going up the street, so... They're going to go beep. I'll smack you. Burning the furniture is going to get back at them. Was it their Was it their furniture? No, no. Was it your furniture? That mine. Look at what you did. I said I'm a favor. If you don't believe me, I ain't Look at what you did though. I believe you did it. Uh, what's his story? If you uh, me, basically, from what I can understand that he's saying, the guys up the street, the drug dealers made him mad because they had some girl that they were having sex with up in the apartment and he didn't want the furniture in the apartment anymore since they had been having sex on it so he brought it out here and he burned it I did. it's his furniture i did okay uh arson's not gonna handle this call over here because it was his furniture he got mad because drug dealers came down here and had sex with some girl on his sofa so he dragged the sofa outside and burnt it so we'll go ahead and call nine over here to fire We'll start over at that 79 on Smith Street. We got a 79 we got to go to over on Smith Street somewhere. Um, that's what he was just advising me about. Since Arson's not going to handle this call out here, he's just out of his furniture. That's all I look at. Hey. Right now we're en route to a call where came up in a, one of our parks, um, someone screaming for help uh, for the police. We're going to go by and find out what's going on. Okay, we got a 58 on the ball field up here. Cut it off, ball. Cut it off. Cut the car off. Put your hands up. Bag up under the seat. You okay? Yes. Just Step out the car for a minute. We just arguing. Okay, you just arguing. Mm -hmm. bleed. Somebody bleed. I cut my hair early. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I had cut my hair on about early. I was, he was taking me to the store again. We stopped. Okay. Arguing. Why did y'all stop to the in the park if because you were going to the arguing. store? Because you were arguing. Yeah. He didn't stop me at all. 301, okay, we got the subject and the female. He's loaded with 38. Man. Okay, going on. And what I've done is I found the crack bags in his pocket. I also found some razor blades and some scales. Uh, at that time, I figured he was cutting some up. We have right now a medicine bottle that's filled with freshly cut cracked cocaine rocks appears to be about that's mine almost about 50 of them it is mine i asked him hold it for me all the way down all the way down I'll tell you what they you ask anybody it's mine you can ask any of my friends that's mine it's not his well both of you will go to jail okay. for it right now the female's admitting that she's the owner of the narcotics 
even though the narcotics was found in his possession, uh, in his crouch location. You need to step to over there. I don't need to step nowhere. You need to step over there. I got what he's saying, and he took the dope from me. Took the dope from me? Okay. He took it from me, because I was going to do something. You get caught with it, you pay the price. He's trying to stop me for doing something stupid. Have a stand over there. I have to take care of myself. You say you take care of yourself? So How old are you? You 16 years yeah. old. You take care of yourself yeah. by selling drugs? It's the only way I know how. Where's only your I parents at? My parents don't give a care about me. Send to go. They ain't never care about me. They don't care about me. Where so are they, though? Are they here in Atlanta, or you don't know? They have all type of centers and agencies throughout the, agency the city of Atlanta those. that can help you if you I want help. I can't go to no agency. No, I don't want to be in no. But you'd rather stand out here and sell dope? Or at money. least that's what you're claiming to do. It makes money. It makes money. But how long is that money going to last? I don't know. You don't know. you just enjoying it for the moment, right? I guess. Enjoying it for the moment. Yes. Tomorrow, what will you be enjoying? Oh, I might be dead tomorrow. Who knows? You might be okay. dead. So you're living for the day. That's all I can do. See, that, that's half the problem. The people out here, they only live for tomorrow. You need to start thinking about tomorrow. Don't worry about living for tomorrow. Think about tomorrow. I don't, don't, to I don't want to go into the box of cash. You are selling your soul. Look at all the tears you got coming out of your eyes right now. And it's not because I'm sitting here talking to you. It's because you know what you was doing was wrong. You selling your soul. We got $633 cash and $760 worth of... Uh, suspected crack cocaine off the streets tonight but they're not gonna make any profit on it you know me man i i i used to do this i know but you haven't did it in years. parole i know we'll get it straightened out steve all right we'll get it straightened out man. From the stories they're both telling us, evidently he's getting caught with the drugs and she was actually the, the owner of it. But by him being in possession of it, we don't know whose story to take. We're going to have to let it go to court and let the judge decide as far as what's going on with his previous criminal record. Depending on what hers is going to be, the judge will make a decision from there. I mean, the old saying goes nine-tenths of a...